Well, I'm back here with my good friend, Rich Norton. How are you doing today, Rich? I'm doing excellent. Great to do these calls. I'm telling you, everything that we're talking about, I'm excited about it, number one, but it's just resonating with everybody. And we're yeah. getting a lot of calls from representatives that are out there. And it's like, I had one yesterday and they were like, you know what? I, I felt like the videos that you were doing, you're speaking to me. <laughs> and I need to hear that. It makes me yeah. want to get on the next video. And it's great. And that's my mission. And that's my goal. I've yeah. been blessed yeah. in so many ways, but I want to help people to maximize their full potential and achieve incredible success in the industry. Because some people ask, is this still, can you still make money? Absolutely. You couldn't have picked a better time to come in. Yeah, for sure. And of course we can tell because for those watching the video, of course, you're in your car right now, you're out prospecting today. And so I think it resonates because it's, it's practical. You're actually out there doing this stuff. Um, you know, Rich, last week, uh, in our, in our last episode, we were talking about different solutions. And one of the things I noticed in, in the pitch that you were using is over and over again, you try to normalize the merchant's response and make them feel like their situation is similar to other people's situations. Talk about that a little bit more. What's the sales psychology behind that? And what are some of the tactics that you use to, to if you want to even call them tactics, but just ways to make that merchant feel more comfortable? Absolutely. Yeah. And going back to that call, it's, you know, you're really building a rapport with the merchant because the reality is we're selling ourselves. You know, the people are buying us. And what's amazing, and I've said this so many times, you can walk into a business and meet them for the very first time. And you talk about trust. They're giving you their whole life information in the end. And they're right. telling you, I trust you with my whole life and my whole business right here. Right. And um, right. so really, a lot of it is just getting that rapport going and, and going back to that is just asking questions and then listening. The best salespeople are the best listeners. And then when you find out what is their pain points, then in your mind, this is where you have to think on your feet and say, OK, what's the best solution for this merchant right here? Now, a merchant might say, like you ask a question, are you absorbing all the fees? Are you passing any of them back right now? And I had a merchant the other day that said, yeah, I'd, I, I'd like to do that. I see people doing it, but I don't know all the laws with that. Well, right. there you go. Now you're going right. to go into education mode and explain. See, I'm glad you brought that up because a lot of people have been asking me about that. And some businesses are charging customers, but what ends up happening, they're not doing it in a compliant way. You know, they might add three or 4% on the cards and now that becomes income. So they're paying taxes on top of the what they're charging. And then they're paying a processing fee on top of the processing fee. It's a bookkeeper's nightmare. So that's what businesses are telling me. They don't know how to do it. So what we've done as a direct payment processing acquirer, we have developed a program. Now I'm thinking surcharge is going to be the best program for the merchant. Mm. And I'll explain to him, we have put together a program that is 100% compliant. And every merchant that's on this program, they're in love with it. They absolutely love it. And it legitimately allows them to cut out about two thirds of their fees. Now, at right. this point, if I'm in a cold call, I don't have anything with me. So I'm going to transition into the presentation. I'll tell you what, let me run out to my car. I'm going to grab you, grab my book, and I'll show you exactly how the program works and how a business can qualify to get on this program today. You know, Rich, I, one of the things I love about these calls is that there's very few people in the world that I can talk to that we can get into kind of this in-depth sales stuff, you know, the, in the details. One thing I really want to talk about, I don't know what you call it. I call it a buffer statement. But one thing I noticed in your pitch is that you know, you never just answer a question or, or have a response, right? There's always this, I call it a buffer that comes in before that, where I'm so glad you asked that. Or that's such a great question. Or, wow, you know what? I can tell that you're a savvy business person that you're thinking that way. And then you go to the, what are your thoughts on that? Is How important is that to you? I mean, I feel like that's such a big deal and nobody really talks about it. A hundred percent agree because it's really the, the art of handling an objection or a question. For example, if you get, and that's a whole nother topic, you get an objection and somebody says, well, we have people like you coming in here all the time. How many sales reps have heard that before, right? <laughs> so right. immediately, what are we going to say as representatives? We're going to say, well, I'm different from all of them. And they're going to say, well, that's what the last guy said. <laughs> so and then what I do, and like, let's just take that objection, for example, I'll say, man, right. I am so glad you brought that up. Thank you for bringing that up. 
because I've been doing this a long time. And I'll tell you what, these representatives have come out of the woodwork. Half of them don't know what they're talking about. The other half are lying. They're calling you from God knows where. What merchants love about us is they love the fact that they're meeting us face to face. They love the fact that they're dealing with someone directly with a direct processor, A plus rated, and they love the fact that they can get a hold of us. The merchants that I've been helping out, they tell me that's a lot different than what they've experienced and they feel and they love. For them, it goes a long way. Is that important to you also? So you notice what I do when you're ever you're getting a question or an objection, you thank them, you welcome them, you pat them on the back, you recognize it. Never, ever get defensive. Right. Because, right. you know, you're, you don't want to battle or fight with the merchant, whatever they say, and then get the uh, give it story, give a testimony, and then always come back with another question because the person that's asking the questions is the one that's in control. Good stuff. Rich, for those who are just enjoying these episodes, maybe they want to reach out to you, learn more about your team or talk to you about the industry. Uh, what would you tell them to be able to reach out and, and uh, get in contact? Absolutely. With you? Yeah. As you can imagine, as we discussed, we're getting all kinds of calls and I'm telling everybody reach out to me, which you still can. You know, I've got an executive team. <laughs> we're, they're going to be on the calls. You'll get to meet them yep. and you'll we'll have you reach out to them and, and as well. But you can call me at 904-434. 4635. You can still do that. I'm always available. Uh, if I don't answer, I'm busy. I'm writing merchants, whatever it might be, helping representatives out. Or you can email me. You can text me at that number. Uh, email is payrock, Rich Norton, P A Y R O C, Rich Norton at gmail.com. Awesome. As always, thank you so much for your time, Rich. Appreciate it. Thank you.